welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with the Stock Swishing and Reviewing Facebook. Uh, gosh, this was a wild one today. Uh, but, you know, long story short, it worked and I had the right call um, and it bounced, broke the low. There was some negative news out this morning on Apple, or I don't think that this would have sold off the way that it did in the morning. Um, but it finally, finally, finally set the low of the day at 1130. Late, though, I got to be honest with you. I would have went to the maximum level of support that it could have gone to. I would have preferred it to hold in here, but it didn't. But this is what I call a stop, drop, and roll. In fact, let me just look at this here. Um, called some options in this, day trades in this. Everything was along. This is higher. Um, it looks like it's ready to break out once again. I do like this. It's very, very strong. This is one of the strongest stocks in the market. And we caught this the other week, too. It was a nice play. Anyways, what do I mean by a stop, drop, and roll? I mean, it closes here, gaps up, holds, rallies, swings around, scoops, and then goes. What I, what I did not like about this, and again, was because of the negative effect that sold off an apple that affected the sector and the market as well today, which pulled everything down with it and did the same kind of thing, was that it, that it did it several times. I held the conviction though, stayed on top of it, and then we got a perfect, 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 perfect late entry in this uh, for the afternoon. So again, waited, waited, waited. Here's the rally, the push, and then we got it right in here before this breakout, which is holding pretty nicely. But you could have gone long this as a day trade here, got right out, um, or you could still be in it with an hour and le a half left to go. As far as the option goes, this was profitable today for the one I called today. But I honestly think that uh, this has more leg in it, much, much, much more. Was looking at it the next level for 305 and then possibly even 310. It could even go beyond. But tomorrow morning is the unemployment numbers that comes out before the open, and that could affect the market. Could affect the market positively, could affect the market negatively. Actually, let's take a look at where we are right now here at around 221. Market did the exact same thing. Stop, drop, and roll, swung around, pushed up, rallied. Again, some trader short go long, short go long, the same stock, the same single, 10 different times in a day. That is disaster. That is no conviction. But at the end of the, at the, end of the day, you, you have to stick on what you're looking at for the strategy. And for me, it is the gap. And in the case here of Facebook, it was a bullish gap. A bullish gap that happened from the close yesterday, which was 295.44, gapped up today and opened at 298.88. And you had the market gapping up today too. In fact, the market gapped up to brand new all-time highs today in the SPY and the QQQs. And finally, which again, I mean, this has been dragging its heels, dragging its heels, the SPY is breaking out as well. So I called this market as a breakout this week. It was a recall too. I had a perfect read in this market and we'll see where we're gonna go here tomorrow morning with the numbers, but great, great calls here on Facebook. You had to have the conviction though. And this is the difference between knowing what to do and just doing a trade. Because if you just did a trade in this today and got stopped out and then didn't go back into it, you missed the move, or if you went short, long, short, long, you got killed in this today, you have to know what you're doing when you trade. That's the reason why it's so important to take the Golden Gap course to learn before you trade. And that's one of the reasons why I have the restriction in the trading room where you have to take the class before you join the room. As far as the options letter, you could be on the letter and there's no prerequisites for that. But I do think it really will benefit you the most if you take the class before doing the options trades as well. Um, because this is a great example here today where you would have hung on to this and this and this is up. It's a nice, this is a nice move and it's going to get a pop. So if you're interested in the next Golden Gap course, the bullish class, which I only usually do once a year, is in September. September 19th and 20th. The bearish class is September 26th and 27th. So email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up. And have a great day, everyone.